So overall, um, over 90% of the grapes grown here will be red. Um, so Vino Tinto is the name of the game here, but certainly there are whites um, that worth our attention. And we're going to start our tasting with a white wine, of course. Uh, but even within that 90% reds, Tempranillo is the vast majority. So 80% of all the area of the entire Rioja region is Tempranillo. So you would imagine that anything else will have a much smaller role. The reds will be more of a blenders. You very rarely find monovarietal wines uh, uh, other than Tempranillo. They do exist, but they made in very, very small volumes. And then when it comes to whites, you do have a variety. Both Tempranillo and Garnacha has a white version, believe it or not. Um, some of them just got discovered not that long ago. So we're going to start with a uh, Viura. And uh, before we pour it, let's talk about Viura as a white variety. So it's the main white variety of Rioja, and it's um, also known as Macabeo. It's a variety that is very suited for light, easy drinking wines. And when it comes to sparkling base wines, it's also very highly regarded. This is the same variety that's widely planted in Penedes in Catalonia as well for Cava production. And um, sparkling wine production is definitely growing worldwide and in Rioja as well. And in that new regulation I was talking about, they have a whole section that essentially allows for higher quality sparkling production. So Biura will be your uh, main white variety for most uh, wines. And the one that Joseph is pouring right now is 100% expression of the grape. It's known for um, fresh fruit character and good acidity as well. Malvasia is actually a Malvasia that's only grown in Rioja. As a matter of fact, it's called Malvasia Riojana because it's not related to any other Malvasia grapes. But it's very aromatic, very unctuous, um, not extremely high in acid, but uh, has a, a nice texture and the ability to actually develop into um, tertiary characters as well. Um, Garnacha Blanca is, uh, of course, a white version of Garnacha, and it's been around for quite a long time, but just like Garnacha is a red grape, it oxidizes fairly easily, so you have to know how to treat it. Tempranillo Blanco is actually a fairly new grape variety. It was uh, isolated in the late 1980s, and it was literally just like a fluke vine in the middle of a Tempranillo planting that all of a sudden was growing white clusters. So they took cuttings from it, they created an experimental vineyard, and it is now recognized as a new variety. Unfortunately, uh, it would be nice to taste it, but it's known for very fruity characters um, and a good um, acidity as well. Very fruit forward with bananas and apples and even some uh, floral notes as well. Maturana Blanca is another variety that's indigenous to this area. It tends to have a little bit more of a phenolic character, um, so a tiny bit of uh, bitterness uh, and astringency in the finish that actually provides some uh, refreshing quality. 